Hello, my fellow Scorpio Risers. It's the birthday coach, Jeremy Ryden, saying you were born for more. You deserve more love, happiness, and success. I help you do that with the secrets of astrology. And this is the sidereal Vedic little episode I'm going to do. And if you're a tropical fan of mine, you should still pay attention to the Vedic side because their predictions many times are accurate even if you feel more like the personality of the tropical. So when we're looking at predictions for 2023 for the Scorpio Riser, we have Saturn going into Aquarius. It went into Aquarius a few days ago, and it's going to be there for the next two and a half years, all the way from now until I think it's March or May of 2025. So this is a big deal for everyone in the universe with Saturn going into Aquarius. What's that mean for the Scorpio Riser? Aquarius rules our fourth house. Saturn is going into the fourth house for all Scorpio Risers. So this means there's a lot of karma around what? Around your home, around where you're living, your mother, your upbringing. So we see, if you listen to the Vedic scholars, that in the next two and a half years, many Scorpio Risers will find that this is a chance where they can move that they could change the location of where they're living. Now, with the Scorpio uh, having Saturn in the fourth house, it's going to be expecting or it's going to be activating the sixth house, the tenth house, and the first house. These are the houses that our karma is playing out in the next two and a half years. So, what is sixth house? Sixth house is our everyday work. It's our health. I've been preaching and preaching. If you're a Scorpio riser... You have to get on the treadmill or the weight room or yoga. You got to get your health in line. Now, not all of you Scorpio risers like to be healthy or have a strong constitution. Many of you Scorpios that have a good Mars and a strong Aries are like, hell yeah, I like to feel the burn. But some of us Scorpio risers that have a lot of pl Pisces emphasis, such as myself, really don't care to feel the burn or are not used to feeling our body. And if that's you, if you've got strong Pisces or strong other placements that are make it hard for you on your body and your health, you still got to get to the gym because the sixth house has Saturn aspect in it. Saturn says discipline or you're going to be discouraged. You, you, If you're going to be discouraged, if you don't get discipline in your health, you're going to pay. Saturn it says if you don't work at it, you're going to pay for it. You're going to pay for not putting in the effort. So get to the gym. Get to this yoga. Get to swimming. Whatever it is. No excuses. I want you to live your best life. I want you to live your best health happy life. Even if you got a chronic sickness, you got to either stretch, get some stretching bands, do something. We're trying to make astrology to improve your life, not just, you know, waste our time. I want you to have the best life. Six house. So that means, you know, there could be some restrictions, some stress with co-workers, right? Karma playing out with co-workers. You don't want to get in a fight with your co-workers in the next two and a half years. That's a long ass time, I know. Anyways, I told you, if you're 36 years old and you're a Scorpio riser, you should be working for yourself anyways. But if you decide that you want to stay in corporate America, you're going to have to realize that co-workers may get on your nerves more and you're just going to have to you know what? It ain't worth the drama. So sixth house is activated. That means all the planets that are in the sixth house have Saturn activating it. Meaning Saturn says, pay attention to these planets. What these planets are in the sixth saying, you need to do. So then now we go to the tenth house, our career. Our career, our public image, our authority is being affected these next two and a half years. Saturn says if you don't want to be sad about your career, you got to take it serious. If you don't want to be disappointed about your career, you got to be disciplined. Now, Saturn can be restriction. Saturn can be hurdles. Saturn can feel limitation. You can feel, you know, like that you're not seeing all the results that you want in your career. Or you can sit there and complain about it. Oh, no, what am I going to do? You're going to you're going to keep going at it. Saturn says every day I'm just going to keep working away, which which anyways, the law, the, the Hindu law of non-attachment, meaning I do the work without expecting results. That's what Saturn says. Karma, do what's right because it's right. And if you stay steady, if you stay the course. You're going to have a breakthrough. You're going to win. Saturn makes you the master. It makes you the king. Saturn's a kingmaker. But only if it says, you know what? You're going to keep going after your career, even when you don't feel like it, even when you are not excited and you're not inspired and you're not on fire. You're still going to say, what is my long-term goal? And every day, 
if I'm going to do things that help me go in the direction of what my higher calling is. Tenth house is higher calling. Karma. What does God want me to do in the universe? And let me start working on it daily. You know, that's why I'm putting out this video, because part of my karma is to put out spiritual information that, that people can use practically to improve their life. What planets do you have in the 10th? These planets may feel a little stressed with Saturn, but Saturn says, all right. Let's master these planets. Let's get these planets disciplined. Let's honor these planets. Now, now we're going to go into the first house. Saturn's expecting the first house. First house is our body again. One and six is body. Once again, these two and a half years, you may have some health issues from time to time. If you are not being disciplined in your eating, disciplined in your health, disciplined in your routine. First house is our public image. It's time to take your image serious. I'm going to do another video on, on why Scorpio risers have a hard time being successful. And a lot of that is because they're sabotaging themselves when it comes to their public image. And that's in another video, so pay attention. But yes, it's time to get serious about how are you putting yourself out into the world? What is your ambition? First house is white goals. What am I doing? If you're sitting here and you have no goals, get in the prayer room. Get into the mosque, the synagogue, or whatever. Sit down. Talk to your spirit. Talk to your soul. Talk to God and say, what is it that I'm doing with my life? I got to get serious. Now, don't get me wrong. Life is joy. Joy. I want you to enjoy the journey. But the idea that 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 you can just be happy floating around, folks, we need goals. Work is not a curse. Work is a, it's an honor to put forth an effort, to put forth a challenge to meet. Humans were born for the challenge. Scorpio Risers were born to tackle a uh, worthy of a uh, cause. So sit there and say, what is the cause that is worthy for me to go after, to pursue, to give my energy, my focus, my time, my discipline? You know, I think it was Einstein that said, if you want happiness, hitch your, hitch your wagon to a star that is higher than you, a purpose higher than you. Listen, don't put your happiness in your spouse. Don't put your happiness in another person. You give the keys of your happiness to another person and you're going to be locked out. Trust me, you're going to be locked out. You're going to be, you're going to be broke because happiness is really got to be something that transcends human, humanity. Meaning I need a, a, something that's not just going to waver up and down, but it's a cause that's big and I can give my life to it. I can give my life. If you don't got some vision about some big goals and some big things that may take you two years to accomplish, then you're not living your full potential. Saturn says, get serious about these next two years, about what it is in the next two and a half years. Who are you going to be known for? What are you going to be known for? What have you accomplished? You can lose 100 pounds in two years. You can save $50,000, make $100,000 in two years. But you got to get a vision. If you don't know where you're going, you're not going to make it. You got to get a vision. And Saturn says you got to get a plan. What is your plan? What is your step-by-step -step plan? Sit down. Take the time to listen about what it is you want to do with your life. This is great, though. Saturn honors karma. Not just bad karma, good karma. Saturn will start to open up doors when it sees that you're serious. You know, there's a saying that says, when you make up your mind and you get serious, the whole universe conspires to help you. If it feels like the universe is against you, it's just seeing, are you serious? Is your mind made up? Have you made your, is your soul caught on fire with the goal that you're not going to let just your emotions dis, uh, water down and weaken? And that can only come when you get a conviction. Saturn says, what's your conviction? What do you feel deeply and you hold on to? And it becomes a compass. What is your compass these next two years? It's your anchor. What is it you're holding on to? That your friends and family and lovers, up and down sickness, cannot waver you from that, that anchor. What is our anchor for the next two and a half years? The planets in the first house. So the planets that you really need to get serious about are your first house, sixth house, and tenth house planets, and everything in the fourth. So with that being said, 
in the comments section, tell us what plans you got and what houses. Tell me, you know, what is your exercise routine? What is your big goal? What is the thing that you want to tackle coming up in these next two and a half years? And if you're not a subscriber of my channel, it's time to get serious. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future Scorpio snacks.